Sudden cardiac arrest is a condition in which the heart unexpectedly stops beating and blood stops flowing to the brain and other vital organs. Although the risk for sudden cardiac arrest increases with age, it can also happen to young people, who appear healthy and have no known heart disease or other risk factors for cardiac arrest. The chances of survival increase dramatically if response is quick and appropriate. Recognizing cardiac arrest can be challenging. The key observations are unresponsiveness and abnormal breathing. Can you hear me? Sure. Someone call the emergency services and get an AED. If the patient does not reply, open his airways by tilting his head backwards and listen closely for 10 seconds. If you cannot detect any breathing or the breathing seems abnormal, prepare to start CPR. It is crucial not to be distracted by bystanders or your surroundings and to stay focused and calm while performing CPR. Place the heel of your hand in the center of the chest and place your other hand on top and interlock the fingers. Position yourself vertically above the patient's body, keep your arms straight and press down on the patient's chest 5 cm deep. After each compression, release all pressure without losing contact between your hands and the patient. Repeat this at a rate of 100 to 120 compressions per minute. After 30 chest compressions, open airways again and blow steadily into the mouth for one second. Look for the chest to rise. Take your mouth away and watch for the chest to fall as air comes out. Give one more breath in the same manner and continue with 30 compressions and two rescue breaths until the AED arrives. When the AED has arrived, switch the power on by opening the lid. Take turns performing the CPR to make sure you do not lose your force. For children under 8 years old, simply slide the switch to the left for child mode. The AED will give you voice instructions throughout the process of using it. Remove all clothing from patient's chest. If the patient's chest is sweaty or oily, clean the chest as much as possible. Remove square package from AED. Open the package and take out the pads. Remove pads from blue liner and apply to right upper chest and left side. As shown in the illustration on the pad, place the pad on the right upper chest. Place the second pad on the lower left chest. When both pads are placed on the patient correctly, the pads placement indicators stop blinking. The indicators continue to blink if the pads are not correctly placed. As soon as the pads are placed, the AAD starts analyzing the heart rhythm. Analyzing heart rhythm. Do not touch patient. Shock advised. Charging. Do not touch patient. Press flashing button. Confirm that no one is touching the patient and press the flashing shock button to deliver the defibrillation shock to the patient. Shock delivered. It is safe to touch patient. Continue CPR. Keep in mind that if the shocks do not cause the patient to wake up, it is still crucial to continue CPR until a medical emergency team arrives. In all cases of sudden cardiac arrest, the patient needs to be taken to the hospital for further treatment. The immediate initiation of CPR vastly increases the chances of survival from cardiac arrest. Defibrillation within 3 to 5 minutes of collapse can produce survival rates as high as 50 to 70 percent. Nihon Koden CardioLife AED 3100 features include Easy 3-step operation Only 15 seconds from startup to first discharge with continuous VF-VT analysis, 
The ECG is analyzed even during chest compressions. Energy charging starts before the shock is advised to maximize CPR time. The AED3100 performs a daily and monthly test to make sure the battery, pads and circuit are in perfect order. With the optional AED linkage remote monitoring system, you will be informed if there is anything that needs your attention. With Nihon Koden's AED3100, you are sure you are always ready to deliver life-saving performance when you need it.